South Carolina Senator Tim Scott is with us. Um, let's go back to James Carville's warning and Whoopi Goldberg saying, you know, are you out of your mind? You know, uh, are you better off than, than you were she four is. years ago? I think for 60 percent of Americans now living paycheck to paycheck that weren't living that way when Donald Trump was president, uh, the answer is an overwhelming hell yeah, we're, we're, we were a lot better off. So much better off, Sean. Here's the bottom line. 60 percent of Americans today do not have $1,000 in their savings account. Under President Donald Trump, unemployment for those same demographics, the best in the history of the country. Here's the difference between Joe Biden, who wants an open border to replace voters. Here's the difference between Joe Biden, who de devastates our economy and wants socialism, and America's next president, Donald Trump. President Donald Trump believes in the American people so much, he gives them their money back in the largest tax cut in the history of our country. Here's the difference between the last president and our future president, Donald Trump. He believes so much in America. He wants law and order in every single city in America. That's why Donald Trump has a 50-state strategy. He's campaigning in Chicago and Detroit. We'll be in Cleveland. We're going all over America because every single voter deserves to have a chance to experience their American dream. That means not only will we better off under President Trump, we will be better again under President Trump. The time is now for African Americans, Hispanics, Asians, the majority population, women and men, all to coalesce around America's 47th president, Donald Trump. You know, it's interesting. Back to Whoopi Goldberg for a second. She claims voters have memory issues and that it's a stupid question about being better off than you were four years ago. I don't. I think it's a fair comparison. This is a rare opportunity in American history where you have somebody that was president, somebody that is president. You get to compare and contrast their record. And the one thing Democrats seemingly never want to talk about is Joe Biden's record, because if this if this record. campaign ends up being about his record on the border, record on law and order and defund, dismantle, reimagine, no bail laws, uh, about the economy, uh, about America's standing in the world, um, Joe Biden will lose. So they have to make it about hating Trump, demonizing Trump 24-7, and they have the media to help him. What's the result of that? Well. Well, there's no doubt. The result of all of the national media piling on and becoming an extension of the Democrat Party, every single person in the national media who believes that their goal, their objective, their passion is helping Joe Biden win, you ought not be in the media. Bottom line is this. We need a fair, independent media. And that means let's compare and contrast. Under Donald Trump, the lowest Quintile, the lowest 20 percent earners in this country, had the fastest wage growth. Sean, African-American home ownership was higher in parts of the Trump years than they are under Joe Biden. They're almost 41 percent right now. Here's what we know. Millennials can't afford a home. Interest is too high because inflation is too high. Four more years, Donald Trump. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.